charge point versus blink charging stock comparison. Okay, guys, so in this video, we're going to compare um, the two largest EV charging station companies in North America. That's number one, charge point, and number two, blink charging so i've been reading your comments i did uh two separate stock analysis on each of these companies and i saw a lot of questions a lot of misunderstandings so i wanted to just kind of clear everything up in this video so to give you guys an idea whether you want to either buy a charge point stock or you want to buy blink charging stock or maybe even buy both of them so let's get right into it guys so what i'm using right here is i'm doing things a little bit different in this video i've really never compared uh, two stocks before so i'm going to use trading view i always i like trading view and i've been using Robinhood a little bit more lately but trading view allows you to compare two stocks side by side so on the graph here the blue line is switchback energy that's the spat the special purpose acquisition company that is going to merge with charge point that merger will take place probably in december of 2020 not exactly sure when but it's going to be taking place within the next probably four to five weeks or so and then the red line charging so although these stock prices appear similar actually the market caps are vastly different so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to show you guys a little comparison chart that i made on uh, google sheets so here we are on Google Sheets, as you can see here. So what I did was I just made a simple comparison chart to clear a lot of things up. So the first thing I want to talk about is I want to compare the market cap. So there seems to be some misconceptions going on here where people think that the market cap of um charge point is going to be the same as blink charging and nothing could be further from the truth so let's clear that up first one so first way how do SPACs work well special purpose acquisition companies they're really blank check companies meaning that the whole purpose of the company that is switchback energy is to merge with a larger you know company with a good business model with a great idea with strong management right and then in return charge point uses the spat to raise money so once this merger completes they're flushed with cash so if you take a look i want to explain this the reason why charge point is actually about a seven almost eight billion dollar company is because once the merger is complete there's going to be a lot more shares issued so if we take a look here on Robinhood, it's a little bit misleading so as you can see here it says that switchback energy has a market cap of one just over a billion dollars and then if we take a look at i'm going to pull up uh, the market cap for blink charging which is around 700 so now on Robinhood, blink charging has a 700 million dollar market cap so from the naked eye it kind of looks like that these companies are trading at similar prices and have similar market caps but nothing could be further from the truth so what's going to end up happening is is when you're dealing with spat deals there's already a large amount of existing shareholders that already have shares of charge point but the currently the the company is private so these are privately held shares but the whole goal of these private shareholders is they want to go public now after they go public there's usually a lockout period of like six months or 180 days where these private investors once they come in they're able to uh, sell their shares on the open market and the reason why they create this lockup period is to kind of prevent you know once the company goes public from the share price just crashing so if we take a look at this how do we how did we get to a market cap of around so how did i compute a market cap of 7.9 billion which would be charge points market cap which just is about 10 times larger than blink charging's market cap what's well, very simple guys so all i did was is i took the amount of shares in switchback energy and then i also added the amount of privately held shares and existing shares of charge point and to find out how many shares there's going to be of the total the total shares outstanding once the comp the merger is complete all i did was i go went to the investor presentation okay so in order to find out this information all i did was i headed to the charge point uh in investor uh presentation which you guys can check out um if you just go to switchback energy's website they have the link there you can download this so what i did was is i opened up the investor presentation and then i wanted to see how many shares uh, outstanding would be available once the um, the total merger is complete so as you can see here to break this down SBE investors so that is what you are if you buy um, switchback energy stocks so full disclosure I own shares of switchback energy so this is this is the there's 31 million shares outstanding so that's how you see this market cap here 
This is just including the 31 million shares outstanding. It's not including all the private investors and all of the existing SharePoint holders. So to get that number, the total amount of shares that will be outstanding once the merger is complete in December will be about 305 million. So what I did was is I took 305 million and I multiplied it by the current share price of 26 now we're at a market cap of just over 8 billion so that's the first thing to clear up it's a little bit confusing on how these spat deals work but once you once you figure out how it works you can just use the same logic over and over again for future deals um, the same thing is going to happen with arrival uh, you can find out how many shares are outstanding you just take you just find out how many total shares are going to be sold outstanding and you multiply it by the current spat price so that's the first thing so now I want to talk about the number of charging stations so the reason why uh, charge points market cap is so much larger is because they have way more charging stations so they have about 140,000 plus where blink only has 23,000 and the reason for this is that the business model is a little bit different so charge point is more like a tech company um, software company they don't really own any of the stations themselves they basically either sell hardware or lease out software for companies to use so that's why they're able to grow so much faster Blink, on the other hand, is a little bit different. They like to own a lot of the sites that they use. They do lease out their software as well, but they're kind of more focused on the ownership um, side of things, and that's why they haven't been able to grow nearly as fast as ChargePoint. So me personally, I like ChargePoint's model a bit more. We all know that software stocks have made a fortune. Uh, obviously, everybody knows about Microsoft, and software companies historically have done really, really well. Um, even the computer that I'm using right now in the phone that you guys are using all of these devices need software so any business that is involved in software uh, is going to do very very well just a high margin business high returns and does really well for stocks okay so now annual revenue so a lot of people are kind of another question that I saw is people are kind of confused on the, the revenue so blink charging has far smaller uh, annual revenue than ChargePoint does. Blink's charging's annual revenue is about five million dollars. I just took the first three quarters of revenue where they earned about three point eight million, and then I kind of just extrapolated that to Q4. Even though I don't know what the Q4 revenue is, but I'm assuming it's going to be pretty similar. So it's around five million, and then the annual revenue for ChargePoint is hundred and thirty-five million. So if you're if you're buying a Switchback Energy, which will uh, merge into ChargePoint. Uh, probably in December, you're going to be owning stake in a much bigger uh, company with a much larger footprint. And then the next thing I want to talk about is the areas. So ChargePoint, once again, is focused on very, very developed westernized societies, just North America and Europe. Whereas Blink, they're interested in North America, Europe, but the Middle East and Latin America too. So Blink is kind of a little bit more globalized, while ChargePoint is kind of focusing on those high revenue, high margin, you know, density places where people live and they have a lot of disposable income and they're, you know, available uh, to basically spend freely on electric vehicles and things like that. Blink has, is kind of targeting the Middle East and Latin America. Some of the, the markets in Latin America aren't as fast growing and the Middle East aren't as fast growing as kind of more developed westernized countries. But that's just basically part of uh, Blink's charging model there, a bit, bit more wide scale. So now guys, I want to give you guys kind of my opinion on which one I personally prefer. Okay guys, so the reason why I leaned more towards charge point rather than blink charging because I kind of put myself in the eyes of the consumer so what I did was I went through Google and you guys can do this too I'm originally born and raised from uh, Washington DC so all I did was is I went over to um, you know Google and I typed in things like charging stations near me and I just went to see what popped up uh, you know in Washington DC you guys if you guys are in DC or whatever your city is just go to Google and type in charging stations near me and what popped up in DC was charge point I saw charge point stations all over um, DC I went to Montreal I saw the same thing I did New York City I saw the same thing uh, so I basically kind of just went to random cities and just kind of went to see you know which which companies were already had a footprint in that city and for me charge point I car char charge point kept popping up on the Google Maps so that was kind of the first thing that kind of attracted me to them they're already present there they already have a footprint and they're the biggest in the world the second reason is that but basically uh, usually the biggest players are going to be your best bet so for instance when it comes to e-commerce Amazon is like the largest player in, in, in North America and 
the, the stock price has done really, really well, right? So then we have, you know, other companies. Google is the king of search and the stock price has done really well. Tesla is kind of the king of electric cars. The stock price has done well. Apple, the king of tech, the largest stock, the stock has done amazing. So when in doubt, if you're just going with the biggest company with the biggest footprint and the biggest market share, that's kind of the no-brainer way to do it because, you know, blink charging is really number two. So they're the, you know, they're the runner up right now and charge point is by far the leader. Now it might not stay like that forever, but the fact that, you know, the fact that, uh, charge point has over 140,000 stations and blink charging has 23,000 and they only added about 600 in the last, uh, quarter, it's going to take a long time for blink to catch charge point charge point is just has a, a much bigger head start you know so what i would say is is that you know when in doubt go with the bigger company you know uh investing it doesn't have to be complicated it doesn't have to be something where you're churning numbers you know you know hours and hours every day some of the best investments have been common sense there's a story about warren buffett you know when he was a kid he went around collecting bottle caps and he saw like 60 70 percent of the bottle caps were coke so that's why he bought coke stock or you know a lot of people, you know, when Netflix was coming on, you know, they liked watching movies from the comfort of their home on their on their phone or their TV. So they just bought Netflix stock. So it doesn't always have to be so complex. Usually simple um, investment strategies work best over the long run. So you're getting the bigger company. And the third reason why I like a charge point is that they're focused on the software side. Whereas Blink Charging is fo focused more on ownership. So remember what I talked about, software has more flexibility and has very high margins. This allows ChargePoint to grow much faster because they're basically putting all the costs on uh, the owner of this, the specific station or whatever. So, you know, just like Microsoft, they make a ton of revenue, uh, recurring revenue, things like that. You know, putting the cost on on the client and not taking all of those costs yourselves, having to deal with maintenance, having to deal with amortization, you know, having to deal with crises, as you see with the pandemic, which can cause, you know, your actual real estate to actually decrease in value, which we saw with a lot of malls, stocks and stuff like that, where you're not getting foot traffic. I just think ChargePoint has a much more flexible business model than blink charging has. And probably the fourth reason like charge point as well is I just believe that the company is just been around a lot longer. It's an older company. They're more established and they're really focusing on the high margin environments. They're not, they're not trying to be a, a global, a global company right now. They're just focusing on North America and Europe and waiting to expand probably into other parts of the world in, in the future. So that's much better. And that allows you to really focus on those, the core market, which is North American consumers and European consumers. We know that, uh, you know, obviously China will probably have its own version of charge point. They seem to be very like individualistic society and they usually just come out with their own version, just like we saw with Tesla. They have Neo. Um, so they're always so China. So I don't know what's going to happen with the Chinese market. And I'm still looking for the Chinese version of charge point. But if I, when I, once I uncover that, guys, I'll probably let you know more in the future. And the fifth reason why I like charge point a little bit more than blink charging is simply because I just think that if you take a look here at the revenue, um, the revenue is just much larger. So, you know, which company is closer to making a billion dollars in revenue? Uh, charge point seems to be a lot further along. And we all know that over time, once companies become profitable and that revenue is very high, that can translate into a very nice profits. And that's when you'll see a lot of institutional investors jump on and we could see this market cap uh, absolutely a skyrocket in the future guys so that's kind of my little comparison there personally me i'm more interested okay guys so that's my kind of my my comparison here i am in more interested in charge point than blink charging although i do believe blink has a lot of upside as well but me personally i'm just going to lean towards charge point just because it just has more revenue and it's just much bigger company so if you guys enjoyed this stock comparison let me know in the comments if you want me to compare other uh, two other companies in the future. Let me know. This is kind of a new video format for me. I usually do individual stock analysis, but so many people had so many questions about charge point and blink. I figured I'd do a video comparison. So guys, if you enjoy my content, please smash the red subscribe button. It really helps. And also I recently just passed 10,000 subscribers. I want to thank you guys so much for all you guys. Uh, just to give you a quick heads up. I started at the beginning of the year. I maybe had something like a hundred or 200 subscribers. So it's been an amazing year. Uh, I finally hit 10,000 subscribers. 
I'm on my road to 100,000 now. So if you guys, I really appreciate it. If you've been following my channel for some time, only about 15% of you guys that are watching are actually subscribed. So if you smash that red subscribe button, it'll really help me help me a lot, guys. And I might like I said, my goal is to make you guys in this decade to show you guys some of the best investments that can make you a millionaire. And the more subscribers I get, the more easily I'll be able to reach that goal because I'll be able to reach more people and and get the information out there so you guys can make more money so that's until next time guys take care